All right, let's talk about it. It's the Harns. It's the Harns harvest, and it's harvest time. So, uh, whew, oh baby, that wanted to harvest my thumb right out of position, didn't it? Wow, holy moly. I was going, you know what? This thing is $41.99. Uh, I got mine on White Mountain Knives because he carries the Harns line. And of course, LTK discount code 10% off. So, you know, $41.99. So you're going to get, what, $4.20 basically off of that. So you're in the 30s. I know, still scary money, but uh, it is, my friends, 14th C28 Dan. Oh my god. You know, it's not bad, is it? Unless <laughs> she got as much grunge. Oh, you know what? I've been using this and just a word to the wise. Don't use your knives. Oh my god, you know what happens? That means they get used. That's horrible. I mean you should... I don't know when I'll ever learn. Uh but yeah, this one Ooh, almost missed the flip, didn't I? Ooh, it's loosey goosey. It feels loosey goosey, but you know what? It's centered. No blade play, no lock rock. And yeah, it's, oh, it's 35% at least. Easy to disengage with this liner, and it's got jimping on the liner. And it's eager to sw swing around and cut right through the tip of your thumb or any part there thereafter um wow wow hold on let me get a piece of paper see if this thing will cut in come here i'll just about destroyed this one but okay all right even if i've been using it still i haven't tuned it up or anything but yeah she's still got an edge on it um uh, i like them I, some i do some i don't so much i mean like any brand there's some i like better than others is this yellow? Uh, I'm thinking it's yellow. Um, so the grain in the field, it's yellow and it needs to be hard. It's not like this yellow. Deep carry pocket clip and obviously right and left hand, but they put the big, uh, you know, Humpty hump screws on there, not flat screws. So they're going to compete a little bit for space when you're going in there. I've carried this a couple times. Uh, and yeah, it goes in and out of the pocket just fine. You got these little pivot surrounds to give you a little bit of pop there in the blue. And this thing is quick over the detent ball. Check that out. So you can jack your thumb right up in there. Because if you jack it back here, jack... Uh, ain't nothing between you and a whole lot of love right there. So really you want to get up on here to keep this little wild child from getting too spunky uh, right there. And you know what? It's got jimping on top of the blade and you got this big old choil area so you can hoss right up on here. But this is no little child of a knife. But I mean it's not huge either. Okay, let me see. I kept thinking it's under three and three quarter, and it is. Unless, you know, you want to go, okay, back of the choil down here. Okay, yeah, 97 millimeters, whatever. But up here, three and a half inches, 90 millimeters. Overall, eight and a quarter, and that's stretching it, and 21 centimeters. So basically, where are you, blueby? Ah, uh, yes. Exact same length exact same length who do you think's fatter mm, you know what that's that's a good question i can't eyeball that oh this one <laughs> oh man if you're going oh you're crazy yeah absolutely this is fat. it is it's fatter that other one's 0.46 the paramilitary too 13.6 uh we in a flat spot oh it's only three millimeters 0.12 wow Okay. Well, uh, looks like a flat grind. Is that modified reverse Tonto sheep's foot <laughs> drop point? Um, so it's it's interesting. It is. It got that. 
it's got kind of a almost a semi mirror polish i mean you know very shiny kind of weird isn't it i mean it's not a just a kind of flat satin it's it's a little shiny um but overall i mean yeah i mean your lockup is substantial backspacer is the same color and you've got plenty of room for a lanyard going through there oh uh, did i uh, did i i don't know if i did this or not let me see yeah i did okay so yeah you don't have to get one that's yellow and right now you can't but all right now nah, i printed this off a while back so never mind you might be able to um brown and black the ever dangerous black g10 as well so um i'll give you a link to it and don't forget to use your discount code but whoa uh we're gonna take this apart as well uh the d design flow is nice it goes right into the bolster down here um this is grippy g10 and the fact is oh, this is pretty good. There goes Westminster. Um, I didn't know I was in London even. Um, I'd say the ergos are pretty good, actually. And they give you a big pass-through here. I mean, you can you can get way back here. See if you can chop three fingers off then. Especially if you take blood thinner. Um, but, no, I mean, this one... Um, a lot of knives you can't do this on. You can't choke that much up because they still aren't over the detent ball. But this one is, and look at, I mean, you're not really even trying. It's just dropping. Uh, so it is a bit more guillotine-ish than those ones where you want to shake them down, shake them down. This one, uh, you shake it, she's already baked it. I mean, she's already down. So, um, okay. Okay. I mean, that's good. I like the overall design. I think it looks like a fairly useful blade, too. And it's, you know, like I used to say, cheap as chips. I got that off of uh, Wheeler Dealer, Mike Brewer. Cheap as chips. Uh, and, you know, I, 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 I could complain, but I'm not going to. There's some other harness knives that are, you know, some brutal big ones and some others that are really kind of cool. So, I mean... I think they're doing some interesting things. And if you're tired of just buying another Kershaw for, you know, 35 bucks, uh, or Ganzo doesn't have any new models, so they're having one come out here real soon. Actually, it's available online right now if you order it off of AliExpress. But, you know, I mean, so, uh, you know, if you like wandering around picking up the odd ones, this one. Oh, and... You know, from White Mountain Knives as well. You know, the Y Start. Uh, I think this is the uh, LK5021. And this is a rocking, well, it's 440C, $24 before discount, 25 bucks. So, I mean, there are some budget options that actually function pretty well. How much does it weigh? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Four ounces, not bad. Three, actually, it's under, we could say it's under four ounces. Uh, 113 grams. Okay, you know, shit, that ain't bad. I like the nice satin grind on it. Uh, this, okay, this is huge, and this could have been not as long. That way, your first finger could have rolled into here. Now, I'm... I'm I'm compromising this a little bit. And it's not like your fingers can't absorb some of the differences there, but it would have been nice if they would have tucked this choil up a little closer and just left it very neutral for the for this, this, the last three fingers on your hand. I couldn't count them there for a minute. So yeah. And reverse grip is more comfortable actually. Okay. So that's good. Balance on this. Good. And let me see blade to handle length is, 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 is you know, uh, you got this. And I don't mind a backspace. I mean, this is an adequate length backspacer. I like it. It gives it a finished look, all that. 
Um, but then you might have tucked another 16th of a blade. You might have been able to go, mm, you know, maybe, yeah, a little bit more. Just a little bit more on that. But, I mean, it doesn't look disproportionate. So, okay. I mean, we're good. And I'm getting a little picky on that. And then you got the Harns logo here. And you'd have to come apart from the back, which we're going to try and do that. Um, of course, the hardware, this is number sixes. I wish they'd go to number eights. But then again, I'm not going to jump all over the case of somebody where you can buy their knife for under 40 bucks. You see what I'm saying? It's like, eh. yeah. And right and left hand, and you got the extra screws to do that too. So, Okay. All right. What's that? Is that mustard? Nah, it's not mustard. I don't use these for for a napkin, but uh, hey, there's an idea though. Okay. Let's do this thing. What's inside? Uh, probably nothing terribly surprising. You know, part of the reason I do these disassemblies, because it's not a big surprise necessarily, is that the big surprise can be the fact that there's not an ease of disassembly. There's screwed up stuff, you know, you can't take it apart or there's, you know, some kind of big mess. And I think that that's important for people to be able to see, you know, can you take this knife apart? First time coming apart, when I do them on, on, on my channel, uh, that gives you an idea. I mean, am I going to have some problems with it? Is this going to be a struggle? And that that's that's important. It's not it's not what they look like when they're apart. It's that they come apart because at some point in time, especially when you got bearings, you're going to probably want to do some maintenance or some cleaning on them. And even if they're like assisted opening and stuff, Kershaw's and stuff, I've had to take them apart and reset the spring and do some different things. Okay. Ooh, ooh, almost lost that one. Okay. So there's your, there's your G10 scale lock bar side and this surround here, which I guess I could knock out or not. And then is anything screwed on here? No. Nothing screwed onto that, so that should come off. And, oh my, that's funny as shit. Did you just see that? Okay, ceramic detent ball. Seriously? I mean, what's this, 38 bucks? Come on. Um, and ceramic bearings on the pivot. That's kind of a bonus. I didn't expect that. I really didn't. Uh, I think that that's you know um also nested these liners are in here so usually the liners when they're nested are not quite as thick as ones that show but these aren't far off now they didn't go to a lot of trouble like stone washing them or anything but they're not sharp okay so they are smooth they just that looks a little funky monkey there like they torched it out but Never really quite, you know, did a lot of cleanup on those edges. And that's probably just a function of the fact that, hey, uh, you know, you want us to do that? We add another five bucks to the deal or whatever. So, uh, nah, it doesn't bother me as long as it's not ragged or a sharp edge. And there's your, there's your roll around right here. Little bit of tinge, it looks like, from some kind of grinding on the back here, which I'm sure they do to get that right for the uh, lockup. But yeah, um, I mean, the plunge looks pretty symmetrical altogether. I mean, I'm not going to complain. An extra little kick here is look at the pivot. First of all, it's not a three-piece pivot. It's not a tube with a screw on both sides. It's a two-piece and then flat, okay? And so is this. So it's not going to turn. And, of course, you got no access in here anyhow because it's got their logo on it. So that's a good thing. I mean, so they did that too. 
that's all included in that price. I'm, I, you know, I see value there. And there's your stop, and that's not bad. And I guess, you know what? Could take a minute to check that. 0.13, about three and a half millimeter. That's not bad. I've seen them as thick as, as thin as three, but I've seen them as thick as like five. So it's in there. It, it doesn't need to be any heavier than that. And it's anchored in the steel liners, which are not really that thin, are they? And I'll bet they're a couple millimeters at 1.5. Okay. They're solid. They're solid. I'm not bending it. Uh, I could if I really went to the trouble, but, you know, they're, they're, they're sturdy. All right. We're laid out, and we're going to get laid back because we're going to put it back together. And there you go. Um, bingo. We're going right through that flattened area, so we're good. Got that on there, and if I can find my KPL lube... Which it takes me, I mean, it takes me forever to get through a bottle of this. And so I like it for that. And it's really easy to grab. And I like the little nozzle. So, hey, I'm good. And, you know, the easier the better. I mean, make it easy on yourself. You don't need to get too complicated. Blade on here. More bearings. More goop. Really interesting to put ceramics in here. I mean, not like they really had to. Uh, but, okay, so we're hooked into the stop. And everything, we're good. And then we're going to nest this right down on top of there. Okay. And then we have the pivot screw, which we need to start that at the right make sure we're good okay we are okay uh, uh, uh. take you down I could feel that blade moving into the right position and then number six is nothing fancy about this hardware here but it comes apart and goes back together I'm not wallering anything out it doesn't seem overly soft and I'm not having to get brutal on it regardless so uh, that's a good thing. And let's hope these screws can settle back down in there. And then we can make it easy to just drop these in. Okay. And let's do that. Oh, good. We set you right down. And uh, let's set you in here. Okay, I mean, it went back to center, and uh, it's not as guillotine-ish as it was. Let's wipe the blade off a minute. Um, okay, let's, let's try this again. Okay, um, maybe this is more acceptable to some people that it's not so guillotine ish and if not then you can always just crack this thing back just a tiny bit and then it'll then it'll just come get you again um blade plate none Centered, still centered. Okay, so that's the way it was before we took it apart. A little bit more aggressive as far as the drop goes. But that's all right with me. So, got a great fidget factor. Just don't let it become your digit factor. You know what I mean? <laughs> like your digits disappear because you ain't backed up onto this flipper tab here. And, of course, it's jimped. And you know that flipper tab? Not bad. It doesn't need to be any bigger, but it's not, it's not brutally big. It's not that bad. Push button. Push button. No, it does, like I was joking about, but seriously, it does have a great fidget factor to it. 
So you want Fidget Factor under $40. Oh, maybe that should be my title. Fidget Factor under 40. It's the Harns Harvest. And you don't have to get it in Harvest Gold. 1970s is calling. They want their Harvest Gold back. If you were alive during then, did your mom have a Harvest Gold stove or refrigerator? <laughs> but it wasn't this color. It was truly Harvest Gold. All right, get out of here. Love them knives. Yes, we do. And you guys, stay sharp.